All right, welcome back, you guys. Um, uh, Chorin, thanks for the uh, six-month Prime sub, dude. Welcome back. Okay, I'm not really sure 100% if we're going to play Minecraft today because apparently uh, Potastic's, like, power's out and the city's messed up or whatever. <laughs> I, I don't know, but we'll see. I did build um I did build quite a contraption that hopefully she finds and gets tricked by. It'd be kind of funny. Yeah, I kind of late today. Um it happens, <laughs> I guess. Unfortunate. Yeah, I'll probably like if everything goes to plan, I'll be streaming later today, so Maybe, All right, maybe let's listen to some in-game music. Not ever. In-game music, dude. Uh, Babas, thanks for the brand new prompt sub as well, dude. <sighs> the menu music is insane, dude. Uh, this is not deathless. This is there's the challenge is doing no challenge. I think DLC is worth the price. I don't know yet. I haven't played it, but maybe, I think it maybe. will be, yes. I'll give you the best not okay, ever. so what we have done. Uh, Tilt, thanks for the three month prime sub, dude. What we did yesterday, we didn't really play for that long because I was doing master run practice, but we. We cleared out all maybe, this section maybe. and we've talked to Kenneth Hype. Best That's basically it. DLC Hype. Uh, Falcon, thanks for the burning prime sub as well. Yep, maybe, the DLC maybe. is coming, surely. I'll give you the best not ever. Uh, I have not bought the del I haven't bought anything yet. I okay, gotta forget. Also, Meatball, thanks for the uh, 11 month resub as well. I must begin my search. Alright, so he's searching. We've already went through this dialogue. He's searching for the next. Uh, the next ruler of Limgrave. Oh, uh, wait, am I not online? Oh, whoops. Meant to go online. The DLC is only... The DLC is only one area like Limgrave? Well... Probably not. No, I haven't I haven't talked to Blood yet. Um, I guess we could do that next, probably. Before I forget. I'm sure I've already forgotten stuff to do, but... The main thing I want to... The main thing I want to do on this playthrough is... I sh maybe shouldn't have used that. I, I want to do all the quest lines. That's the main. That's the main goal on this playthrough. Every single quest line. Uh, BTO. Uh, thanks for the two hundred bits, dude. All right, let's listen. I have to turn up the volume every time I listen to an NPC because it just talks so quietly. Won't you? Well, your butt. All right. About the howling in Mistwood. The howl of a wolf in the Mistwood. I suppose he must still be skulking about. I know. Why not meet him for yourself? Next time you hear the wolf's howl, make this signal right under the source. Oh, don't fret. There is nothing to fear. I just have an inkling the two of you might hit it off. I'm not. I'm no furry. Okay, I guess that's it. While we're here, though, we might as well go finish this catacomb that I haven't gone to yet. I thought I've... Didn't I kill... I must have killed this guy already, right? Pretty sure I remember doing that. How come he's named after... <laughs> after Salad? Um, That's a great question. What are these guys meant to... Are these guys, like... What are they meant to be looking for? 
Maybe, Get your hands maybe on Mesmer Spear. I'll give you the best nut yeah, I, I'm excited for the new weapons they're going to add. Projectile weapon required ahead. Gorphobic, thanks for the, the tier two two month resub. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Let's go on Aziz. If anyone wants to join, the group password is Esger. I think my speaker just died. <laughs> Whoops. Um, one second, you guys. I, I can't. One second. I can't. We can't do a, a lore playthrough and me not hear the <laughs> NPCs talking. So one second. Okay, crisis averted. I think the volume kind of high, but maybe I just maybe I turned my speaker up by accident. Oh, okay. I forgot about these guys, dude. Have I missed any of these so far? Uh, we got this one. Maybe, maybe... Isn't there one somewhere over here? Did I talk ever. to him? The real Danny Rand. Thanks for the brand new prime stuff, dude. A proper death means returning to the Ur tree. Have patience until the time comes and all the roots call to you. One near four. Yeah, I, I I just can't remember if I've talked to him or not. Yeah, so someone asked what the group is for. The group, this is, see this message here? This is somebody in the group who put this here. Um, let's go. What do I have Sacred Blade on right now? Oh, 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 I need the stats for it. How can these have any impact on the game? It no, they don't. It's just, at least not as far as I'm aware. I think it's just, uh, you know, like lore stuff, I guess. Let's go on Savio. Maybe I'll level up a little bit more, actually. So let's get maybe 25, and then just start kind of spreading our stats out. Yeah, the goal of this character though is just to. We're doing a few things. I'm doing a, a full proper playthrough of the game. I want to do as much content as I possibly can. While at the same time, it'll be the character we use for the DLC when it comes out. So, so yeah. So that's basically it. Should we summon somebody? Maybe, maybe for the... Well, I, I don't know if I want to summon, dude. Something's kind of... Not as fun. That's what imps are the weakest to. I guess, like, magic or something. 
Recommend Dutch poker for no or for rando no death. Um Definitely wouldn't be bad. There's a whole lot of weapons I'd go with over that one though, to be fair. Dude, we we haven't even been to patches yet. So much stuff we haven't done. Yeah, they are weaker to strike for sure, I think. I'm pretty sure. Prattling Pate. Yeah, we, we are seven hours in. <laughs> That's true. That's what this is all about, though. I, I, I want this to just be a normal playthrough, dude. Which I've only I've only done one of these before. On my first playthrough. Holy fuck. Bro. They really just decided they're going to have 50 imps in the same spot. Oh my god, dude. Just impeccable enemy placement. All four. Three smoldering butterflies and a ghost glovewort one. I'm surprised there's not more deaths, uh, bloodstains around here, dude. It's getting, sw like, swarmed. Uh, I haven't finished the only up mod yet, no. Surely I will at some point. Yeah, that is true. Probably nobody goes here. Like, what do you even get here? Some spirit ash, probably? There's so many messages everywhere. Why is this guy running so weird? Oh my god, this guy's a god. The strafe was insane. Wandering Noble Ashes. I, I just, I don't understand these men. How do they have so many appraisals? Is, is it just people saying it's bad, but then... Because so many people say it's bad, it just gets boosted up, and then... And that's what happens. Must be. If you get baited, you have to appraise. Guess so. I should I should put, um... Jickered Blade on this thing, man. On the Urge Steel. I just wanted to put it on some weapon type that I haven't used a lot. Uh, starting class was the Confessor. Let's see what we get in here. An actual hidden path? <laughs> yeah, I just missed it, dude. Probably just like club on the head. What's in my physic right now? Just heal. Wow, a lot of death stains in here.
There's people getting slammed by this guy. Noble Sorcerer Ashes. <laughs> that is one thing that hopefully in the DLC they improve a bit. Is just making these dungeon rewards actually better. You know? They've, they've got to be better than this. Because even your first time going through them. Like you, you go through the catacomb. This, this is the first catacomb in the game really. So you go through it. It's like wow I got... Noble Sorcerer Ashes. <laughs> it's got to be it's got to be something better so that you actually want to do them later, probably, right? I mean, all these are just going to be people getting slammed by them. Oh. Yep. Anyways. Had to come done. So now let's go back to Mistwood. Let's go see if I talk to that ghost guy. Because I don't, I don't remember talking to him. Oh, he's right here, dude. Yeah, I don't think I talked to him. But maybe I did. All those catacomb dungeons and still one of the best talismans in the game you get by murdering Alexander. Yeah, that's that's actually a really good point, dude. That's actually a really good point. But maybe they just didn't want to force people to have to go through catacombs or something. But but it's not like forcing you anyways. But yeah, basically every catacomb is a spirit ash, right? Which, which I guess makes sense, lore-wise, kind of, right? Does make sense. The demi-humans wax wroth. Now their mother's been taken. There's no way that's how the, that's pronounced. Where are you, Lord Kenneth? The knight bedeviled by blood. I, I don't know what that word means. Roth? 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 What does that mean? <laughs> yeah, he's talking about the bloody slash knight, I guess. I, I just, I don't understand what these guys even are doing here. Roth full of wrath. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. What, what's this wax thing, though? But what are, what, like, so what are these guys about, though? Why are they there? They just died and then... I, I don't understand it. Okay, um, I should have snap. There it is. Do I have any fire damage yet? I don't, I don't think so. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Where's the R2 on this thing? Not a huge fan of that. And I guess I guess that guy is talking about the the dead demi human queen that's in there, right? Probably too. I just don't understand the significance of that at all. Like seems kind of random. All right, Mister.
Whoa, that looked really, uh, <laughs> that looked really scuffed right there. Hello, mister. Who goes there? Carly sent you, did he? Never the bloody busybody. Hmm. Maybe to him you don't seem so strange. The name I want your life. sword. I'm looking for a man who goes by Darrowell. He fled somewhere nearby. Or so I've heard. Come tell me if you find him before I do. I can offer you ample reward. Okay. Darrowell is nothing but a traitor. And in need of a fitting end to his tale. I do like his sword. It's cool. I, it's, it's another one of those swords, though, that... I wish had a, a two-part Ash of War instead of just a single. And in need of it's kind of like Malakas Blackblade, where you, you do the first part, and then you're forced to do the explosion part. Okay. Um, yeah, we haven't gone over here yet, so we might as well. Um, I is there a summon for the Bloodhound? All, all I know is you kill the Bloodhound and then Blood just shows up there. I thought. All right, I guess I guess I'll fight him with with Blood then, if I can. Have I gotten anything? I guess I could upgrade a couple weapons, too. All of this without going to round table yet. And then there's also... Like, there's quite a few things I haven't gone through over here yet, so... I haven't gotten this Ash of War. be another crab that shows up here, I think. Or two. Thicker Blade is actually so good early game, dude. Oh. Scarab. I think that's that's probably all I missed here. Yeah, they they are a lot easier, but I I guess the DS3 crabs at least you can repost them when they do that one attack. It makes them a bit easier. Um I I will 100% get the blasphemous blade, yeah, so we might as well use it. Let's go see what's happening here. <laughs> Let there be order. Not sure if I'm really meant to intervene here, but... They're just simply fighting. Yeah, I'm, I'm reading all the item descriptions and stuff, yeah. That's why I was wondering earlier if I missed anything, which I guess I, I did, right? Okay, Wandering Noble Ashes. Ash remains in which spirits yet dwell. The spirits of nobles who after death now wander the lands between. Surely, surely they were in search of something once. But whatever it was has long been forgotten. Surely. Spirit of... Okay, Noble Sorcerer Ashes. Spirit of a nobleman who once asked to be given a place at Rhea Lucaria to learn glinstone sorceries. 
His talents were insufficient to be worthy of donning the stone crown. However, or <laughs> his talents were insufficient to be worthy of donning the stone crown. However, and he is only capable of using the most rudimentary sorcery. The stone crown. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. I guess that's uh something. Young Bobby, thanks for the brand new sub, dude. Also, uh, Daddy Dog, thanks for the five month resub. I appreciate that. The stone crown. I can't remember if that's part of like selling quest or not. Oh, it's the Burger King helmet. I guess so. That makes sense. Alright, I think before we do the Everjail, let's go over here. Another cool weapon that I kind of want to use. Yep, stun locked by Torch Guy. Oh, oh, right, the, uh... Prattling Pate thing. Twisted clay sculpt in the shape of a human head emits a voice that says hello. A wist... A wistful fetish that imparts voices and words on an eternal journey. Wistful fetish that imparts voices and words on an eternal journey. Ow. Ow. Oh my god. That was mean. And he's just on his way. Why did he just run away? Oh, uh, we already had that. What the? <laughs> I thought the horse was coming back to life for a second. That was weird. Now, these sorcerers are gods up here, dude. These guys could have easily made it into Ray Lucario. Look at that. Look at that range he's got. Actual god tier sorcerer. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. This guy's got more range than Ranala, dude. He's a prodigy. Uh, Shinobi, thanks for the two-month prime sub. What's up, Fulin? All right, Royal House Scroll. Where's that? Here we go. Oh, also, I guess there's a map part here, too, that I didn't see. Other than the Mistwood, which envelops the south, it is known for its lands which lead to Kaled, a path trod by many a soldier in the past. Sor Sorcery Scroll of the Carrion Royal Family, the heads of the Academy of Rey Lucaria, can be given to a learned sorcerer to gain access to the following... Okay. <laughs> Not really much there. And the scroll. Maybe this guy stole it from Selen. Because he wasn't buying. <laughs> 
Selling wasn't selling it. What's up, Salumped? <clears throat> Alright, another Starlight, which I think I already have one. Yeah, Slicer is good sorcery. What else does it have? Yeah, it, I guess just Slicer. One of the best sorceries in the game, though. Uh, there's not really a build in particular that I'm going to use late game. I'm probably going to just swap it up constantly. Yeah, I'm just going to I'm going to swap the build constantly. Sky legend. And my parry was so off that I was able to roll in time for the attack that I was trying to parry. Elfman, thanks for the a thousand bits, dude. Oh. Frozen Raisin. Porn seems to enjoy the sensation of chewing this frozen dried seed. Really? I didn't know there were all these types of raisins, dude. Here we go. The Great Epi. <laughs> Ipe. Large rapier featuring a thin, sharp blade commonly used in life of death, life or death duels. Like its smaller counterparts, it is made for thrusting attacks and can be used while guarding with a shield. Okay. I like this weapon. It's kind of cool. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Oh, for <laughs> try here for shooting this guy. Oh. Oops. A new item, I guess, too. Larval Tear. Um, core of a creature of mimicry. 
known as a silver tear, as much a substance as it is a living organism. Material required by the amber egg cradled by Renala, Queen of the Moon, to birth people anew. Being born anew allows the reallocation. Okay. I guess I've never really looked at it before. Looks kind of like something. Looks like something. Yeah, I guess they, they do tell you about Renala, but you, you have no idea what that means, though. Because there, there's also Redan's mentioned somewhere. I don't remember where. Maybe it's in the... Yeah, in the armor cookbooks. Yeah, no one reads the descriptions anyways. I usually don't, but this is the first time in a Souls game I've ever actually looked at the descriptions of stuff. First time ever. Oh, I thought that was an Arteria leaf, dude. So close. Try friend. Okay. Um, let's go with the sweep. Do you summon him inside? I've never summoned an NPC for an ever jail. Do I summon him inside? I don't know if I want to summon him, but... I suppose I will. Rotting in a cell is no true justice. No. He's not even here yet. This is where it ends for you. Nice spoiler. <laughs> you don't even know who you're fighting yet. Dairy Wheel. Oh my god, just instant stun. That was mean, dude. Give him a break, man. I'm also launching him. We're both just launching him, dude. This is very interesting. It's the stamp sweep just fucking stun locks him. Well. Yeah, nice gank, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's the point of view of like half the boss in this game. Just ganking you. Alright, the Bloodhound's Fang. Curved greatsword with a gently undulated bl uh, blade wielded by Bloodhound Knights. A fearsome blade capable of brutal airborne attacks. I mean, I guess you kind of go airborne when you use it. <sighs> right. There you are. Hard to work for it, but it's done. Don't say I'm not a man of my word. Somber 2. Oh, yes. I should say. If you venture north to Rhea Lucaria and come across a venerable blacksmith who's a little on the large side, tell him I sent you. And he'll be sure to treat you right. I owe you one, I reckon. That's enough chit chat for now. It's time we parted ways. That's enough chit chat for this time we part. Okay. So go to EG, I guess, is what he's saying. Yeah, I, I don't know what these worm things are about. They drop the, uh. I don't know if I've read the uh, Sanctuary Stone one. Rare piece of stone fragment found near places where ruins have fallen from the sky. 
It feeds and strengthens the light as it shines. From the sky? I, I don't really... I, I don't know what these are about, to be honest. I have no idea. No idea what an ever jail's about. <laughs> I just know you go in and you fight something. Okay, so another boss down. Oh, prisons. Oh. But then... It still doesn't... Are these like... Oh, these are the guys who guard it or something? Or just make sure they don't escape? Who knows, man? <laughs> yeah, cameras. Yeah, true. Reminds me of, like, One Punch Man. The, uh... Forget the guy's name. Okay. I guess we should probably go into this river part now. Why is Balls a prisoner? That's a great question. Uh, Rubino, thanks for the uh, seven month reset, by the way. Let's go find patches. I do wonder if Stamp Sweep is going to destroy, uh... I forget his name. Maybe, maybe... I'll give you the best nut ever. Bloodblade guy. Good boy in the FromSoft games. Chris, thanks for the two-month Prime sub. Are, are you asking if Blyde is? Uh... I don't know. I think I was just waiting on Sacred Blade to come and come through this place. I guess we do have the club also. Probably the be the better setup would be would be the club with Sacred Blade, but that's okay. A stamp sweep is just it's on the beach. Um to the the left of spawn basically. How's it going, OST? Yeah, the, the that's the only reason why I started Confessor, because it has the coolest armor. I guess, um, you know, I guess actually, let me check the somber too and see if it says anything. Large shard of smithing stone drained of color. Nothing too interesting. Just gotta simply use elemental damage on these guys. How about it got its color drained? Are you saying that like you know, or are you actually wondering? Because I have no idea. I actually have no clue. Yeah, Torch Attack, best Ash of War. Surely. Yeah, the pickaxe, I, I really like the pickaxe, but very low drop rate. First off, lift 
and then try behind. Look at that useful message, dude. Ah, oh, you hate to see it, dude. Hate rats because of the castle entry in DS1. To be fair, those rats are way worse than than probably any other Souls rats. With the poison maybe, and stuff. Maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. What's Ash War called? People put on a dagger to give himself a boost. Usually, people put Golden Vow on it. Uh, Bartholin, thanks for the brand new prompt sub. But yeah, it's just because it's just because it's light. Usually. Large glintstone scrap. There's not a lot of places where you can get those, actually. Surely, secret secret wall here. <laughs> oh my god, dude! I remember my first time playing Elden Ring, dude. I was. I, I, like, I almost wonder if they put these, these kind of dead ends like this on purpose to mess with people. Because I got, I remember hitting every wall on my first playthrough and I was like, man, where are all the secret walls in this game? And then you don't get them until Lyurnia basically, but. I would not be surprised if they just put them on purpose to psych people out. All ahead. What's our candle here? Wow. How, do, how would that even happen against these guys? They're not fast enough to really chase you, I don't think. Yeah, I, I know fire explodes them. I don't have any fire damage except for fire bombs, which I guess I—I I mean, I guess I could use them, but. Oh yeah, the torch. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I kind of forgot. Cause I was I was actually looking at that earlier. I'm like, oh man, I should I, should I make some fire bombs here? Huge golden rune one. I guess there's just these candles everywhere. I, I've never noticed them before. I, I did read the golden rune lore, I think, yeah. Have I missed anything? I have, though, yeah. Try fire. Or try holy. Oh, yeah, the, the glintstone scraps. Okay, yeah, I'll... I'll in a second. I've only got one shot to hit this here. Mission accomplished. Okay, so... Glinstone scrap. A piece of glinstone tinged with unstable magic found in crystal tunnels. Break gem using FP to produce a magic bolt. Poor quality and 
thereby easily broken. A sorcerer wouldn't give it a second look. Um, large piece of glintstone tinged with unstable magic found in crystal tunnels. That's it. And then we also got the Roar Medallion. A bronze medallion depicting a roaring giant. In ancient, in ancient times, the giants were mortal enemies of the Erd Tree. Their beloved roars desolated nature, triggered avalanches, and whipped up storms of flame. Why are giants always the bad guys in these games, dude? Or, or I guess not the bad guys, but... They're always getting the, the short end of the stick, dude, every time. Yep, hidden path ahead. Of course. <laughs> I, yeah, I was gonna say, maybe, maybe Miyazaki got bullied by, like, some big guy. Now he just hates giants. Okay, well, there it is. Because every game, it's just like the giants are slaves or they're, or they're, I don't know, they're getting beat on by everybody else. I, like, every single time, dude. Like, why, why can't the giants be the winners at one point, dude? When are they going to win? We need some dubs for the giants <laughs> at some point. Well, I could have teleported entrance, but I wanted to heal back up, so. Bobby, thanks so much for the donation, dude. Morgoth's Cursed Sword Supremacy. We will get that at some point. Is there something up here? I do wonder if there's actually something more to that, though. Because, why why does he hate giants so much, man? Got to be some reason. Yeah, I, I'm for sure going to spare patches. Just hates him, dude. Like, look at these guys here. Simply nothing. Ruin fragments. So wait, are these... I never thought about it. Are these things that fell from Farmazula or something? I guess so, right? I still don't have any poison. Oh no, I have I have these. Let's see. Let's see if that insta procs poison on these guys. Shit bomb. Whoops. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Yep, I took too big of a whiff.
It's so funny, the, the, the white shadows or whatever, the ghost of other players, I, I just... I keep thinking it's it's an enemy. Just because I haven't played online in a while, so... I see it, and I think it's an enemy. I wonder if a throwing dagger can one-shot him. Please stand still. Fly still. Ah. Why did they... Why did they do this? <laughs> yeah, he's way too good, dude. Maybe... Maybe... I'll give you the best nut ever. Alright, here we go. Uh, Gata, thanks so much for the 29 month prime sub. Welcome back. I appreciate that. Pathetic sort ahead. Take a seat and narrow juice. Here comes Yura coming to the opposite of save the day. Nope. Oh! <laughs> save me. <laughs> Two HP. Out of the way, I was doing perfectly fine and he came and ruined it. Is clearly what happened. <laughs> oh, what a kill stealer. It was going so well until it wasn't. All right, Reduvia. Okay, Jagged Dagger with a distinctive curved blade used by the noble servants of the Lord of Blood, Esger, of course. This dagger rips the flesh as it enters, inflicting blood loss with sickening efficacy. A proud testament to the success of its vicious design, this weapon is perpetually coated in blood. Unique skill, Reduvia Blood Blade, slash the Wicked Dagger, transforming its never-drying blood stains into airborne blades that cause blood loss. Oh, somebody in the group died. Couldn't have been me. I would never die. I wasn't even close to dying. <laughs> that was like a final R2. Probably on 1 HP. Uh, group password is Esger. Holy will holy damage be good for DLC? I hope so. But... Probably not. But I hope so. I need to get this upgraded so that I actually deal some damage. Oh, shit, dude. I just realized, I guess you never see these enemies again in the game, right? Oh, Highwayman Hood. Oh, this guy's poison. Wait, unless that was my poison. I thought I saw poison on him or something.
Is it really mushroom in here? <laughs> nice. These guys were doing shrooms in the back, clearly. It's kind of hard to not just use the Sacred Blade the whole time, because it's clearly the best thing I have right now. Yeah, I, I think they are just foot sol soldiers, but... Okay, the hood. Hideous, hideously stained and ragged hood, worn by former foot soldiers who have turned to banditry. Okay, well, there you go. I assume this says the same. Dang. Wait, did it say rat ahead? <laughs> God. Too good. Wait, wait, please. Uh, I surrender. White flag and all. Well, wait, do the the gestures. Don't have like a description too, do they? Guess not. Okay, what did I just pick up? I picked up cloth garb, clothing made from coarse material commonly worn in the lands between. Where did I get this from? Cloth trousers. The same. Headband with the cloth removed. I, I guess this is the same too. Only there are no commoners remaining with their wits about them. Okay, Patches, what do you have to say to me? Ah. Well, what do you know? You're tarnished like me. Now, now how did I get that wrong? I took you for a demi human or some such. <laughs> But an innocent mistake, I assure you. Well, water under the bridge. Now we're squared up. How about we play nice from now on? Um, which do I say? Slow down. Some things can't be forgiven. What's the matter? This simply isn't Gaslight like God. You. You've always known an innocent mistake when you see one. <laughs> Suit yourself. I'm Patches. Patches the untethered, tarnished like you, only free spirited. No I'm not killing him, you guys. He's got a whole quest line. For now, those retired soldiers turned bandits, and oh, they're paying for my gruel in exchange for my well, showing them the ropes. But honestly, this looting racket is bloody terrifying. I'm ready to wash my hands clean. <laughs> we set up a legitimate shop, so don't be a stranger. I'll be ready to wheel and deal come next time. Wheel and deal. Gavlan <laughs> wheel, Gavlan deal. Don't forget to pop back for another visit, friend. I'll be ready to wheel and deal come next time. Um, I think... I'm not sure if I've fully completed his quest. I know for a fact I've never been kicked down in Gelmir before. So we got to do that on this playthrough, but... I don't know, does his quest line end when he gives you the magma whip? Because I have gotten that far before. Don't forget to pop back for another visit, friend. I'll be ready yeah, I probably have. And getting like bull goat too, time. maybe. No, I, I've I've never fought him again. Actually, no. So yeah, I guess we will do that. So maybe I haven't. Okay, well, um, I 
A lot of death patches, man. He's blasting them. Wait, did I get kicked down in bow only? Really? No. Oh yeah, maybe I have gotten kicked down. <laughs> okay, maybe I have. I I don't know. I've done a lot of runs. I forget stuff, dude. I forget. I mean, I even forget. I even forget no hit runs I've done with certain weapons, dude. So. <laughs> New copy pasta, dude. Huge appraisal on my message. <laughs> okay, what does he have to say to me? Oh, wow. Look, a new chest. I also didn't realize I didn't turn the volume down. It's all a bit ad hoc, but I'm sure you'll find something. And welcome to Patches Emporium, where you won't need a refund, because everything's top notch. Yeah, I had those bandits make a clean break. Now they're all suppliers, and good ones at that. I mean, they don't understand a word I'm saying. But it hardly matters. We have a natural connection. <laughs> They're all foot soldiers. Survivors of a defeated army. Worked to the bone by their high and mighty lord. Only to be thrown out with the rubbish. <sighs> it's the same old story everywhere I go. <sighs> to hell with it all. Hmm. Wondering what's inside the treasure chest. Well, it's a uh, nothing too special. Just something I'm saving as thanks for a very valuable customer. Yeah, yeah, but huge loot in there. Surely. Would fetch some spectacular coin. And besides, this valuable customer could be a long time coming. Huh? Everything is give and take. Give and take. Okay. Huge market spoiler, by the way. Okay, we, I've already read this. I'm going to grab them, though. Fan daggers. A set of five throwing daggers bundled together. A concealed weapon cherished by the raptor assassins. The thin knives fan out when they're thrown, dealing damage to the target. Each knife deals paltry damage. Uh, I don't know what that even means, but... But the wide range makes it suitable for constraining enemies. Poultry. <laughs> Poultry damage, dude. Maybe I should buy these, but... The reason I, I'm not a high level right now and I don't have a lot of runes is because I, I'm buying, like, everything I can, so... Yeah, yeah, I kind of assumed it meant bad damage, I guess. This is just simply not true, though. It does so much damage, dude. You got the buffs going? Um, I'll save that, though. Okay. Margaret's Shackle. A fetish bathed in golden magic. Shackles were used to bind the accursed people called the Omen. And these ones were made to keep a particular Omen under strictest confinement. Though faint, the shackles still retain vestiges of power, enough to trap the once-bound Margit on Earth. If only for a short time. Yeah, a lot of fetishes in this game, dude. He's he's trying to tell he's got a foot fetish, clearly. Okay. Grace Mimic. Enough, dude, what is going on here? A fetish indicating... What is that actually like what do they what does that even mean in this context? I I don't I don't know. <laughs> Clearly has another meaning, dude. A fetish indicating the guidance of grace. Similar to grace, the fetish draws rays <laughs> race guiding the way, only without a sense of order. Useful as a last resort to those uh, for those who have lost their way, or for use 
by those who believe the that unrefined guidance will lead to truer encounters. What does that mean? <laughs> I'll buy one. A glass shard. Missionary Cookbook 2. Um, I guess we've already read this and they're all the same, I think. Parrying Dagger. A knife with curved handguards designed to parry, turning foes attacks against them. For masters of combat who anticipate every enemy strike and counter accordingly, this weapon is all they need. Great Arrows. Ballista Bolt. Great bolt as large as a spear for use with hand ballista. Horse crest wooden shield. A tall, medium-sized wooden shield, light for a size and easy to handle. The circular horse head design evokes a swift gallop. Okay, that's it. Cheers for that. Fetish equals effigies. Yeah, maybe I should have bought the stone sword key. I guess I never noticed. He sells it for a higher price, I think, than the other ones do, right? The other merchants. Like, probably everything he sells is for a higher price. I'm trying to scam you, dude. But maybe not. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the Jeez, best that... nut ever. Wicked. Jeff, thanks for the 25-month resub, dude. Password is Esger. It's on the right side. Right there. Trap ahead. <laughs> no. He, he said it's valuable. Is there a cutscene here? I don't... Well, well, oh, yeah. Well. I should have known, you skinny little thief. The gods demand vengeance. Vengeance! Throw him to the rune bearers. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Sup, everyone. Smiley face. Dark Flex, thanks for the four month prompt sub, dude. Yeah, I had no idea that I was there, dude. No idea. I got totally tricked. 100% positively tricked. Now, I guess if we go back, is he still here <laughs> or? Oh, I wonder what would have happened if I opened the chest and then rolled away from it and then talked to him if he would have said it. Does anybody know if he says something? Ah, oh, why in? You're alive. Maybe, oh, maybe. Proper scared. Best Pushing not away ever. in a flash like that. Uh, Gonzo, thanks for the seven month reset, dude. Keep your mitts off. What's not rightly yours? Hmm? But I'll forgive you. you oh, you can't roll away. Oh, interesting. At any rate, it's just nice to see you safe. Don't miss all the bargains here at Patches Emporium. <laughs> Calm down. Okay. Cheers for that. Forgot something on your shopping list? No, no. Okay. Um, what is the next stop? I guess we should probably just go kill the duelist or something. There can't there can't be too much left in just this main limb grave part. Yeah, I'm gonna give him a bad Yelp review.
Yeah, we we have we have quite a few bosses left, but I, I I more just mean areas that we haven't gone to. I guess we haven't really gone to this whole upper part yet. But as for down here, I think we've done almost everything. Um, we haven't gone up here yet in this little water section. The Yura should be in here. Who clearly didn't save my life. I was perfectly ah, fine. We meet again. To fought Nereus and lived. Nera juice. You must have seen your share of battle. I am Yura. As you might recall. Hunter of bloody fingers. Tarnished. Held in thrall by cessblood. Zealots. Who stalk their own. You stay the path. You're certain to face more of that. <laughs> Orange juice. Just remember. No kinship with their elk remains. Their madness precludes it. Don't let your emotions. Holy smokes, he talks away. slowly. Uh probably what either 125 or 150, Jeff, or like somewhere in between. Be on your way. Perhaps we will meet again. If fate permits. So when does the Naga Kiba like does it spawn now where he was? If fate permits. I don't really know. I know it spawns where he like his initial spot at some point. I'm not sure when that happens though. I wonder how holy he is against him. 76. Poison Bloom, is that? I guess it says new if it actually is new, right? Gotta pay attention to that more. Human bone shard. Was that new? I <laughs> I skipped it. Fragment of bone with dun motling. What does that mean? Dun motling. <laughs> uh, found by hunting those who live in dead in death. Lamentably brittle, it crumbles at the lightest caress. Uh, there is snow inside my house, but yeah, it's... It is getting very warm here, so it's not going to be there for much longer. Mot... Motling. Modeling. Remember thinking that was an Estus upgrade? Well, if you played... Dark Souls, then... No, it's not minus eight, dude. It's like, it's actually like 12 today or something. No, it's really warm now. You know what I realized, too? We haven't, uh, we haven't gotten the painting reward yet, either. Oh my goodness. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best. <laughs> That's funny, Gaza. That is true. Uh, Wazir, thanks for the two month prime sub, dude. That will happen eventually. Guaranteed. A lot of corpses down here. <laughs> the new Minecraft update. Yeah, this is a good one. Save tutorial did happen, yeah. Use the new leveling system. 
Well, yeah, but nobody really knows what that actually means yet. I'm I'm not convinced it's just a one-to-one -one attack power because that does not fit in a Souls game at all. Yeah, group password is Esker. I, I don't think capitalization matters, but I could be wrong. Let's go with the bonk on these guys. Uh, maybe I should rest, though, first. Surely a confessor would have the bonk. That is way more range than you're meant to have. There's no way his weapon is that long. <laughs> no hit guide. No hit guide. Um... I could make a no-hit guide, I guess. Out. Sixty nine damage. Is there anything new I've gotten that I've... I guess the paw. Wait, can I, can I... Can I see that in the crafting? Oh, boy. Okay. Um, I missed a lot of stuff then. Um, fireproof dried liver. Cured animal liver dried out after pickling in a red medicinal solution. The gods demand repentance. Cough up your coin. Uh, Frederick, thanks so much for the donation, dude. <laughs> I appreciate that. Invigorating cured meat. Cured strip of meat dried out after pickling in red medicinal solution. White slice of or white sliced meat dried out after pickling in red medicinal solution. I think I've read this one. This one. Um, craftable, uh, fire pot. Craftable item prepared using a cracked pot. A cocktail of incendiary materials is sealed inside. Holy water pot. Um, enchanted by incantations of the golden order. Highly effective against those who live in death, even preventing them from rising again. The golden order has no mercy, uh, for those who trespass beyond life's bounds. Hmm. Fetid pot. A cocktail of effluence is sealed inside. As the mixture ferments, <laughs> toxins are produced alongside a putrid stench that seeps out once ripe. Man, that sounds so nice. <laughs> Beware, though. Those who carry these pots slowly will slowly accumulate poison in their own bodies. Push someone in a privy, expect to get dung on your hands. <laughs> nice. Let's go on, Abjo. Sleep pot. Um, enchanted by the incantations of St. Trina. Like a lullaby or a quagmire, its light purple haze irresistibly draws its victim down into sleep. Sweet dreams. Beast lure pot. Enchanted with assassin incantations. <laughs> uh, the illusion lures and beasts into attacking it. Lures and beasts into attacking it. This effect does not change even during combat. Uh, a short rope that aids throwing has been secured around the pot. Throw at rearward enemies uh, to inflict fire damage. I assume these are all the same. Bone dart. Animal bone sharpened into a knife for throwing. What is a script stone? Ruin fragment with a cipher inscription. 
Uses FP to reveal more messages from other worlds. Words are gregarious. Words are gregarious things, drawn to one another, much as people are. I've never seen this before. Somehow. Fire grease. Solidify grease made from a mixture of incendiary materials. Uh, coats armament, adding fire damage. Mixture of blood red material. Um, a short string is attached to this lump. Quickly coats armament. Um, did I read this one already? I don't know. Rune fragment that has undergone some simple processing. Stones such as these shine with the colors of the rainbow, making them useful markers when placed on the ground, can also be dropped to gauge the distance of a fall. The higher the pitch of the sound, the higher the likelihood of a fall being fatal. Once used to entertain, entertain children on the fringes of the lands between. Never seen children in this game? Yeah, maybe not. Polished rune fragment that shines brighter than rainbow stone. Emits light. Uh, I think I've read this already. No? Yeah, I definitely have. <laughs> okay, bone arrow. Arrow whittled from thin animal bones. Though the tip is certainly sharp, it does not fly particularly true. Bone, fletch bone arrows. Um, feather fletching adds a distance to the arrow's flight. Arrow whittled, okay, fire bone arrow. The tip is set alight before firing, deals fire damage. The tip is daubed with a blood tincture. Flicks targets with blood loss. Bone bolt. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just the tip, dude. Bolt carved from a thin animal bone. Um, these are all the same. Okay. That's, that's it so far. That's all of them. Holy smokes, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna be the all knowing after this uh after this playthrough's done. Hopefully. Sixty nine. Wait, have I read the the glove warts? I don't think so, dude. Or maybe I have. I I don't think I've read the ghost one though. White flower that blooms in catacombs. A spirit nestles close to it. Strengthens renowned ashes to plus one. Ashes which keep their renown even after death cannot be strengthened by merely corp corporeal glove warts. How's it going, Coco? All right, dude. Moving on. I'm thinking that stamp stamp sweep will be good here, hopefully. Still no Elden Ring. Try parrying. Interesting. I'm going to try parrying. Hell yeah. What did I just get a heal from? All right, let's try the stamp on him. Oh, yeah. Dude, Stamp Sweep is pretty solid. I think upper, Uppercut is very similar, but... Simply... Simply die.
Banished Knight Engval. What is the point of the duelist even being in a catacomb? I like what is he doing, dude? He's feasting. One, o Oleg and Engval. Are these two? Okay, yeah, these are the two wings of the storm, guys. Okay, so one of the two knights dubbed the Wings of the Storm. Despite his banishment, he rejected the invitation of the grace-given lord, instead, instead keeping watch over a masterless castle for many years, gaining renown of, as a hero of the fringes. Okay, then. Uh, this is Stamp Sweep that I have on this right now. All right, Catacomb done. I think it's time to go up to this upper part now. I'm going to go back to Euro just to see what's going on here. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best. Uh, Chris Blue, thanks ever. for the 11-month resub. Oh, he's here. You must not forget, though, those who partake in dragon communion will one day shed their humanity, their hunger for until the flood gave Is he in the same the place? No surprise that dragon communion is ruinous. I kind of want to go back and see if he's still over here now, or I didn't actually expect him to be back here. Let me just go down here and see. Yeah, that, that is the dialogue from the dragon. Like, that's kind of weird. Yeah, I guess he moved back or something. Okay, uh, so let's start. We've explored this place. Let's go up here, I guess. Digging to Godslayer, great uh, Godslayer sword. I I'm gonna have it, and I'll I'll probably use it for some things. Yeah. A pleasure to see you. Uh, how's it going, salty fries? The little chrysalids, the message that I love them. The Sacred Blade is definitely still the best thing I have. I've never I've never realized these were from Farmazula. It makes a lot of sense, but I just I've never thought about it. Uh, my favorite weapon class is probably, I don't know, probably like Colossal Swords or something. Maybe Great Axes. I'm sure this will go well fighting him up here. Did indeed go well. What time is it? It is uh, five eighteen p.m. Try to no hit the DLC. I, I definitely will no hit the DLC at some point. Yeah. Unless for whatever reason it's somehow like not possible, but <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I'm hoping we eventually get the squid helmet. I 
I wouldn't mind that. Let me just turn down my camera brightness really quick. I'm pretty sure I, I definitely remember getting in here on my first playthrough. But I don't think there's anything up here. When the attacks from the trailer don't look great for a hitless. Yeah, but you already know. We're, you're going to be able to just blast through every boss. There's nothing actually in here, right? I didn't really look. Hidden from this... Really? No way. There's not. There's no spirit spring around here. I think you're thinking of the weeping one. I, I just... I, I know for a fact I got in here one time. And I kind of just want to do it again, but... Dude, my only up skills are failing me. Come on. I just... I, I know I got in here, dude. But... There's a message up out there. Did I go read that message? Yeah, I, I got the arrows reach, Tosman, already. Like, I, I went on that side of... of this, like, ravine thing. Ride jumping. Well, but as good as I expected. Should I, oh man, like I, I, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna. I, I've been playing this game for <laughs> two years, and I still have no idea when I'm gonna die from a fall. Still, just have no idea. What's better, bleed or occult? Uh, it just depends. The cult is probably better overall, I guess. But give me that, give me that squid helmet. Yeah, I just don't know. I just have no idea when I'm gonna die from a fall or not. I guess we should get the stats to wield this the bloodhound fang at some point. Seventeen dex, eighteen strength. So that's. I I've just been I've been buying so much stuff. That's why I have no runes for anything. Well, I'm a low level. Holy smokes. Oops. Uh, electric Echo. How's it going, dude? Berserk character that Mesmer's de design is based around turns into a dragon? That's interesting. Except, you, I, I don't know. That, that could be cool if it's done well. Is it going Maddie? The the graveyard? I guess I did come up here, but I just wanted to buy the Ash of Wars. I don't think I did anything else. Rapid Cougar, thanks for the donation. Do a run where I get one to two of every item. What does that mean, exactly? Uh, Snark, have a, have a good night, dude. Well, I, I think, I think most of the dragon fights are okay, at least the normal dragons. The ancient dragon fights are garbage. But if it's a main boss fight, it should be fine. The only concern is that most dragons have breath attacks. And every breath attack in this game is very bad. So. So that's the, that's the problem.
Uh, have to pick up one, only one item. I think I missed if there was a follow up message. <laughs> Surely they'll fix breath attacks. I'm not holding my breath. <laughs> Unintended. Surely. Okay, so I'm going to try to... I don't know. I guess I'll stay low first. Let's go on Matthew. Uh, my favorite status in the game. Probably sleep. I think sleep is kind of cool. Mainly because it's just something different than what they always do. You know, they always have the damage over time. And then they have always the, you know, the big proc of damage. But they haven't had really anything else besides that. Except maybe like insta-death ones with curse. Oh. It's smoked. And these guys are tankier than the boss. What am I doing? Who just screamed? Uh, this is on PC, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was a giant, but... <laughs> Maybe it was Kaza. Should have made it nighttime. Yeah, I should, I should put my summon sign down so that people can summon me for boss fights, dude. I guess that actually is a decent way to get rune arcs, right? Do I, I have... Here we go. I think I've already talked to this guy, but... The gods demand repentance. Uh, hello. I have indeed. Uh, Cougar, thanks for the donation again. A tutorial on how to get every possible item. Well, that, <laughs> that sounds like a lot of work. I don't know if I would do that, but. Let's make it nighttime. You know, I guess we'll fight the bell bearing hunter here too. How many hours in? I think we're like eight. 820. So yeah, this will be, this will be a long playthrough. Uh, on this bell bearing hunter. I do want to use the Bloodhound Fang, but we, we don't have the stats for it yet, so... I'm pretty We're still pretty limited on what I can use. We haven't gone back to round table yet. So... Can you parry Bellbearing Hunters? Probably. Man, I'm being summoned. Ow. Save me. <laughs> I got summoned, dude. That's funny that it, you can be taken out of a boss fight. Like that. Yeah, they, be they better be summoning me for the boss. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Oh, 
Oh. Dude, I thought the game was just straight up bug right there. Oh, boy. <laughs> Actual worst summon ever. I have no I have no idea if there's someone in the chat or not. This guy's a sacred blade user though. Please don't die. No. I couldn't save him. Yeah. <laughs> couldn't save him, dude. Oh god. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. I tried my best. Oh damn, this thing used a lot of stamina. Are these explosive barrels right here? Or what is that? Yeah, they're <laughs> the wine barrels, dude. Huh, I wonder if you're meant to like blast them with that. Hey, wait a second. I kind of want to try that. Get away from the gray, sir. Rest. Okay, wait. No, they're not. Ah. <laughs> it's because they had blood on it, so it kind of looked... Ah. Oh, dude, this guy's a fucking tank, dude. Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you guys see how he... Like, teleported across? This thing's an R1 machine. Bone Peddler's Bell Bearing. Funny, you, you get a bell bearing, but we haven't even been to round table yet, so we have no idea who the twin maiden husks are. Bell bearing of an unfortunate bone peddler who was slain by the bell bearing hunter. Offer to the Twin Maiden Husk at Round Table Hold to gain access to the following items. Thin Animal Bones. Huh. I don't really understand that. Because, I don't know. Why is Bernal here then? Again, he doesn't say anything different now, does he? To learn I don't really understand it. Yeah, what the fuck is a round table hole, dude? Uh, Lost, thanks for the 14 month reset, by the way. Thanks, dude. Like, why are they. I'm, I'm sure we'll uncover more lore as we go through, but it doesn't really make sense why the bell bearing hunters are just chilling there. Feathered Branch Sword. 
talisman adorned with blue feathers, once used in ancient death rituals, raises defense when... What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? The heart sings when one draws close to death, and thus does one cling to tenaciously or tenaciously... Or wait. So tenaciously to life. To render up a death worth offering. The heart. What heart? I don't know. This this talisman is really good, actually. Especially in PvP, it's good. Or, like, duels, but... It is a good talisman, though. Oh, just your... Oh. Okay. Okay. All right, time to kill the giants. No. I don't really know anything about the death the death birds either. What? How how did that not hit him in the head? How can you not just spam this Ash of War constantly early game, dude? It's so good. Already killed those guys. I'm gonna bonk this one. Bonk too strong. Oh boy. Right in the taint. I can use all the runes these guys give. Oh, I still have the a hand axe with gravitas on it. Not sure what that'd be super useful for. Why are these goats so mad? I only killed their friend, dude. That's all I did. Oh, it's another <laughs> golden eyed owl. Why don't I just use cheat engine for what? You mean for farming?
Uh, well, I'll, I'll go Confessor armor until we get some cooler armor set. But nothing right now is cooler than Confessor, I don't think. Like, Caden is cool too, but... But I'm not going to swap yet. I wonder if Potastic's internet has come back, yeah? I also don't really... I guess it's not our internet, it's our power. I, I don't... What are these wolf things about? Oh my god, dude! Uh, sir, AutoZone, thanks so much for the two gifted subs. I appreciate that. Why do wolves just randomly ambush you? Oh yeah, she did say, yeah, three thirty. I guess six thirty my time. We we'll take out this guy. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Scammed again. It is pretty hard to aim that properly. That's a very nice sprint attack for getting the headshot, though. Oh, that's an interesting follow up. Zero Minty, thanks for the brand new prime sub. Thanks, dude. What do you think about finishing Elden Ring with triple randomized enemies and without dying? Uh, that'd be something, I guess. Strength, not tier. So this is not underneath an Ur tree. So I wonder if this does anything differently. Uh, Raptor Jesus, thanks for the donation as well. Black Guard. I, is that an armor set? One second, I'm going to turn maybe, down my brightness again. The final time. The best not ever. Uh, Drunk Timo Orgy. Thanks for the three-month prime sum as well, dude. Because, yeah, all these other item descriptions were saying that these were underneath the Ur tree and they, like, build up or something. Crystal tier formed slowly, so it's the same. Can be mixed in the flask. It's kind of lame. There's no Ur tree here. Um, I'm not gonna... I, well, I guess I could make multiple characters for DLC, but... Maybe maybe we can have one character that is all... You know, this one that has everything on it, and then one that is just, like, rushed towards the DLC as early as possible, right? Maybe kill Godric and Moog or whatever. Could do something like that. <laughs> Mess around level 20. Yeah, I got the level 1 character all set up, surely. Level 1 plus 0. What are these worms doing? I've never noticed there's so many just chilling. Yeah, Duvari's questline. Yeah, Miyazaki said that you have to kill Radan and Moog to access DLC, but I honestly don't believe that's true. I think that that is an, a, a possible way to get there, but I would probably more assume that it's... Um, just a, a, a shard bearer plus Moog or something. Because you, you need to start the quest line. Maybe, maybe I'll be the best not ever. Good afternoon, Alencia. How's the quest going, Shino High? Uh, Tammy, thanks for the 19-month resub as well. I'm pretty well so far. 
But yeah, unless there's some other reason why you would actually need to kill... Um, kill Redan. I hope there's not, though. I hope there's not. I guess that's true, Copper. Yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah, you know what? You, you might be right. Hammer Talisman. Goodbye, Henricus. A talisman depicting a hammer and a knight. Okay. Different helmets than, than this one. Uh, enhances stamina, reducing attacks against blocking opponent. Hammers are highly effective against shield, shield-bearing foes, so much so that they are known as knight killers. Too bad this talisman sucks. <laughs> Probably like the worst fucking talisman in the game. For PvE, at least. Even for PvP, it's extremely niche. All right, two more items. Small red effigy. Um, okay, that's literally no lore there. A finger of corpse wax furled like a hook. The bronze adornments are the mark of a duelist. Remember how long it, it took them to release the arena update and these were just sit, sitting here the whole time? No, I, I don't think Cat Talisman is worse. If I had to pick between them, I would easily go with Cat Talisman over Hammer Talisman. Yeah, it, it is a red fetish, dude. It, it is. Don't, don't even worry about it. Limgrave Coliseum. Why are there so many death signs in here? <laughs> Data cars was the worst. I guess so, yeah. But they they kind of always have a, a, a ring like that. Um, I'm probably gonna stream I'm probably gonna stream pretty late tonight, but we'll see what happens. What is this? Oh. Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> what even was that? Hopefully I'd... Oh. Dude. Apparently that uh, line boss is the first legacy dungeon boss. I just really hope his breath attack isn't garbage, man. That's all I hope. He looks kind of... He looks interesting. He looks cool. Come on, bro. Dagger parry's so fucking slow. First try. I think we already read that sleep grease, right? Or, or maybe not. Solidify grease made from a mixture of light purple materials. Coats arm and inf inflicting sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
all that good stuff. Did I hit the horse or did I hit the guy? I hit the horse. Oh, down he goes. Golden Vow, Ash of War. Golden Vow, skill passed down from antiquity among the knights of the capital. Raise armament aloft and pledge honor. We, I've already read this. Because it's on the Golden Halberd. Sleep is Sleep Grease good for PvE? Hmm. I don't know about good. Yeah, I, like you're you're better off probably trying to use sleep pots or something though. But yeah, I I would say it's probably not terrible. I'd probably rather just use like Saint Trina sword though. Yeah, there's. I'm when you think about how many enemies can sleep in this game, there's a lot, and and main bosses. A lot of the main bosses can be slept, and so, so yeah, sleep grease would definitely not be bad. But I I would rather go with the Saint Trina sword though. Yeah, like so many people are surprised when Fire Giant gets slept and when <laughs> literally any boss gets slept except for like Godskins. Everybody knows Godskins get slept, but. The Lance. Considered a type of great spear, this weapon has uh, no blade, but instead features a long conical body designed to pierce. Though heavy and hard to wield, this weapon displays its worth in horseback combat, whether mounted or even on foot. Yeah, surely horseback combat is something you want to be doing. Yeah, like Raycard can be slept. Most of the... I feel like most of the main bosses can be slept, dude. Pretty sure Margot, Morgot can be slept. I've actually never tried, but I'm sure he can. Probably Margot. Probably Godric. All these bosses can... Yeah, Godric for sure can be slept. Um, you can probably sleep Godfrey too, yeah. Nice pivot. Yeah, definitely not Radagon, definitely not Elden Beast. This is kind of where I need a real weapon. For daggers to be good, you really need the the multi hit setup. Else they just they don't they don't deal enough damage. Yeah, I think Mo Mo can be slept too, right? I'm maybe maybe he can't. I don't know. A, lo a lot of the main bosses can be slept though. A surprising amount of them. Beast heater. Wait, what is it? Beast something. 
Or wait, was it the blue crust? Oh no, it was this one. Beast crust heater shield. Medium medium sized metal shield. Easier to handle than a kite shield. Features a beast as its crest. Serving to remind warriors not to succumb to the arousal of battle. Fight with passion, but become not its prisoner. Getting aroused in battle. <laughs> There's a lot of fire barrels around here. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty funny, dude. I wish this initial L1 with the daggers was better. If it was just a double hit, it would be so much better, actually. Wait, what did I just get from the dog? I got a bunch of stuff, right? Not sure if there's anything new, though. I guess it, I, I didn't realize it also has the beast crest on these tents. Huge. Huge lore. Guide and gatekeeper for those returning to the roots. Is that what the other one said too? That's weird though. Why would it... I was an assassin, a guide. How, how are there so many fire barrels, man? Oh, they all say that? Okay. I guess that makes sense. I guess we'll start by going to the catacomb. And what does this guy have to say? Unthinkable. Our hallowed resting place is violated. To refuse the Urtree's call to return to live within death. Sickening. What is that supposed to mean? Is it talking about, like, all the skellies? Or is it talking about the assassin doing something? I'm thinking you need preparation for DLC since Miyazaki said DLC will be power level similar. No, I, I don't think... I think that's, that's kind of misleading, probably. I hope it is, at least. Bloodhound Fang's not a good weapon for a catacomb. But no, I, I just... The main purpose of this is to just play through the game again. That's basically it. The getting the DLC character ready... Like, the, the character part isn't... It's more just about playing the game through again. A YouTube chat is on the screen. Well, it's kind of weird, though. Like, sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. It's weird, too, because I actually, I never actually even set it up to be on the screen, but it just, it just happened. Oh, the longbow. Um... 
Longbow made to fire arrows over great distances. Compared to a shortbow, arrows fire to reach further and deal more damage. That's it. Big secret passage. The power system is like Skiro Memories. I really hope it's not. I think that, that sort of upgrade system has no place in a Souls game in my mind, dude. And, and like combining they what they would if it actually is like Skira then they're they're trying to combine a system that makes it so you don't have to upgrade anything and like and you just I don't know it just I it doesn't it doesn't it's not right in a Souls game Yeah, just the whole point of it in Sekiro is basically like you you don't have to spend any time really focusing on your weapon loadout or your build or your upgrade level, anything like that. And so it's kind of it's oh, script or wooden shield. It's kind of to make the the character creation or the build part more simple simplified. And so you don't really have to think about it all, like you just go through the game and that's it. Whereas a Souls game when you're upgrading all these different weapons, you have to think about what weapon you want to upgrade and you got to, you know, kind of be more strategic about it and actually think about it. And so if there's something that just increases your attack power overall, while also having weapon upgrades, I don't think it makes any sense, dude. So what I'm hoping for, as I've been saying the whole time, is that it's sort of like the giant souls in DS2. Hey, we got we got some shield. There's this one. Scripture wooden shield. The small wooden round shield, it is light and easy to handle, but cannot offer the damage negation of a metal shield. An ancient cipher engraving lines the circumference. Though it isn't much, it boasts or boosts holy damage negation. I mean, it's not really that good against Holy. Huh. Oh yeah, the Uchi as well. A katana with a, a long, single-edged, curved blade. A unique weapon wielded by the samurai from the land of reeds. The blade with its und undulating design boasts extraordinary sharpness and its slash attacks cause blood loss. An unsheathed skill of swordsman from land of reeds, sheath blade holding it at the hip in a composed stance, followed up with a normal or strong attack to perform a swift slash attack. I didn't realize I still had that timer up on the on the bot, dude. Dying Souls as in the more you have the weaker Venger guys. Yeah, basically. I, I hope it's something like that. But I don't know, man. I, I I'm not sure how that would work. Alright, what should I use for the assassin? Let's go. You can go Bloodhound. Huge double whiff right there. There we go. 
Assassin's Crimson Dagger. An Assassin's Dagger uh, misshapen and stained in crimson. Critical hits restore at HP. This charm is modeled after the darkly gleaming blades used in the Knight of Black Knives. Those which gave the demigods their first taste of death. Knight of Black Knives. Oh yeah, I'm sure we'll get more good talismans, probably. Well, actually, I don't know about that. Because <laughs> well, in Dark Souls 3, they didn't... Did they even add any new rings? They just added upgraded versions? Well, we'll see. Okay, and a death root, our first death root. Uh, um, a source that gives rise to those who live in death. Beast clergyman found a bestial sanctum in the distant east, collects and devours these roots. Um, on the night of the dire plot, the stolen rune of death enabled the first death of a demigod. Later, the rune of death spread across the lands between through the underground roots of the great tree sprouting in the form of death root. On the night of the dire plot, which I supposedly is the Black Knives one. Stolen Rune of Death enabled the first death of a demigod. So I guess like Malekith stole it or whatever. I I don't know. Right? Is that what is that? Uh, I guess we'll find out later, surely. All right, boss down. Oh, it got stolen from Malekith. Okay. Interesting. You guys are saying Randy stole it, but I have no idea about that, so I guess we'll find out later. What's the best Souls game? If you're talking about Dark Souls game, uh, there's there's not one. Obviously. Uh, Wing save. We, we haven't gone to Weeping yet, so. We will get it. A Garong Deathroot Mukbang in DLC. Oh. What are these guys doing here? Do you have enough stats for the, the lance? I should try it on horseback just to... I don't know. Um, I guess I don't, unless it rounds up. Need a bit more strength. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pay attention to what all the cutscenes and stuff on this one. So I'll I'll pay attention to all of it. What's the name of the chainmail helm? Uh, I think it's just called Chain Coif. If this is one you mean. Q. 
huge Lance Talisman as well. Uh, Talisman depicting a, a, a Lance and a Knight. Enhances attacks while on horseback. Knights on horseback are deadly foes. They see all below from their lofty position, meeting little meaningful resistance as they charge ahead. That is certainly not true. This is another just garbage talisman, dude. Basically useless. Unless you want every time you get on horse, if, if you want to like swap to it or something. But the, the thing is, the horse combat is really bad. And fighting a boss on horse is never the optimal play. There's, there's no place, there's no boss in the game where fighting on horse the whole time is, is the best play to do. So. And now, a lot of people actually do like to fight some of the, like, the dragons on horse and stuff, but it's not the best way to do it. I thought there was a golem in here, dude. Yeah, <laughs> best talisman in the game, dude. Short inventory by most recent. I, I guess I could do that. Can I sort this one by that? It doesn't look accurate. That's okay. I will do that for the... I should do that for all these other ones, though. Like, assuming... Oh, it changes all of them. I guess I guess we could do that. It's kind of weird, though. Also, not even really accurate because it's still separated in like their groups. So, wait. Unless I can change that. Oh. Can I reverse it? Oh, oh. Ah, there we go. Okay. I guess let's do it, dude. Man, that looks horrible. <laughs> but I guess I'll do it. Does it automatically do all the menus? Yeah, this is actually good to know, though. I, d I didn't even really think about this. I'm, I'm pretty sure I don't have to go through every single one to do this, but... Like, there's the different categories, I guess. Wait, what is this here? Marcus effigy at round table. What is round table? We haven't even gone there yet. All these gigantic spoilers, dude. Oops. Okay, I think I've done it. I, is there not a golem here or whatever? Uh, a giant dude? I could have sworn there was, but... Is this him? Okay, there we go. How does the giant souls work? So in Dark Souls 2, uh, there's a boss, Vendrick, who... Um, I don't know the lore reason, but basically there's five of an item that you can collect throughout the uh, the giant memories. And I guess in other places as well, like from giants. There's five in the game, and basically each time you get one, the when you fight Vendrick, the boss, his defense gets reduced by half. So... So when you have all five, it's like normal defense, but then if you have four, he gets 50% or, um, is it 100% more, I guess? I don't know. But yeah, so for each one you get, he, he decreases his defense by half, basically. 
And so, yeah, the, like maybe what they'll do in the DLC then is, you know, you go to these extra areas, you you fight something or whatever, and then you get an item that does a similar thing or something. And that would be perfectly fine. But if it's if, if it's an actual character upgrade, then I don't know. That's not as good somehow. I really do not like how this is sort of. <laughs> it's kind of painful, dude. Okay, the weapons I'll keep the same, but then... The rest of them, I guess, I'll have reverse. with any sports. Uh, I, I follow hockey. These guys don't change what they say, right? After I... Uh, I think I can wield the ornamental, yeah. Yeah, we could use them. Our ornamental straight swords are honestly, like, very bad, though. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Grim, thanks for the raid, dude. How was your uh, stream? I appreciate that. Yeah, ornamental straight swords, when you have sacred blade, the, th the thing is the extra holy damage that adds onto this isn't the same as like the sacred blade that gets plus 100% damage on undead. And it doesn't even, I don't even think it permanently kills skeletons either. Like it's just not that good. Like the one thing that holy does super well in this game is that, and it doesn't even do it, so. Uh, there's no, there's no like in-game achievement for a no-hit run if that's what you mean, uh, Josh. But it, yeah, uh, Lolly, it did, it didn't, it did sound like that. But, like so, so yeah, they said the. I think Miyazaki said that it would be, it would only apply to the DLC areas. So like, I, I don't know. I still don't like that at all because, like, what would that mean? And this is for me specifically. What would that mean if I want to do like a level one plus zero run and I go into the DLC? Like how, how is that just another, I don't know. I, I just don't see how it works, man. Like just some, some, something that makes your character deal more damage for some reason. Like, I don't know, dude. I don't, I don't really understand it. All right, he's living on this run, you guys. I At least for now. Alexander, also known as the Iron Fist. And as you can see, I'm stuck here. Please, can you help me out of this? I see. More's the pity. <laughs> Simply no, leave him, dude. No. I apologize. Don't you worry about a thing. Despite my appearance, I am but a chip of a greater jar. I'll pop out eventually, just you wait. Ah, what's that look, good lady? Are you willing to help me out after all? My thanks, a thousand thanks. Just give me a good smack from the rear with something nice mm. and big. Nice I'll and big. I've got something sure. just for you. Don't dally. No, there's no need to fret. I'm very well trained. Give it your all, I say. Come on. <clears throat> Give me a good smack from behind. But yeah, like Something that idea nice though of having having clean out. Sure um I, I, I kinda like upgrades in these games. As long as they're balanced, I like upgrading your weapon and finding the upgrade materials and stuff. But if they wanted to have a game where your character basically had an attack power stat, but you could use any weapon. So let's say let's say my attack power was like six. Just just say it's six and there's ten possible attack power levels. Basically, it would apply to all of your weapons, and then it'd be as if all your weapons were plus six. Like, that could work out, and it would fix the problem of 
um of the of in these games like sometimes you're just you're more encouraged to just stick with one weapon that you eventually upgrade right because right now i can get a weapon plus two somber weapon right and i can get one weapon to plus four so i would be encouraged to, to just simply use my most upgraded weapons and not try out a wide variety of them and so having an upgrade system like that would prevent that issue but i don't think the upgrade system's fine so i don't think like there could be some improvements but I, I would rather actually have to upgrade my weapons but so so yeah if they decided to, to do that for a game like that could be something i could try but and i guess they basically did already with Sekiro. but then to add it to a souls game that already has normal upgrades like i just i just don't understand how it's going to work because let's say you go in with plus 25 weapons you're maxed out and you get a, one of those things that boosts your damage or whatever like how much would that increase your damage and then if you go in with a plus 15 weapon like how would that work does it just give you like a flat amount of damage on top or i don't know man triumphant delight Um, I can use the Ipe, I guess. May replace weapon upgrades. I that would suck. I think I would hate that if that's <laughs> if that's what it does. Well played, well played. I I would not like that at all. Mighty wallop of yours almost spelled the end of me. <laughs> ah. Well, I'm out now, and that's what counts. I thank you. And as a token of my appreciation, I'd like you to have this. Once again, the pleasure is mine. I am the warrior jar known as Alexander. Iron Fist Alexander. I journey to the east, where I intend to further my education in the ways of war. And beyond these lands lie the scarlet, rot-blighted Kaelid Wilds. And upon their southern edge is Redmain Castle, in which a festival of combat is being held. I'd heard whispers of such festivities before. Doesn't the notion set your breast a flutter? <laughs> I'm heading eastward to Redmain. I've heard there's to be a. Okay. But it, it that that is the, probably the only thing that concerns me about the DLC at this point is that like upgrading thing. The rest seems pretty cool. I guess the the other thing that concerns me is the <laughs> you know the breath attacks on certain bosses, but. So looking for that squid helmet. And that bleed proc, dude. If you get past Moog, already upgraded? Well, that's actually not even true because, at least on my first playthrough, and I, obviously this is me going, I, I knew nothing about the game. I ended up fighting Moog with, I think, a plus six spear. <laughs> and I beat him with it. So. I don't, like, I, I don't know. I just, if it's going to be like some set thing, I, I, I don't know. We'll have to just see. We will have to just see. I just, I don't have super high hopes for it though. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Like, 
I'm not sure if I like the idea of it. But he also he also specifically said too though that if if players wanted more of a challenge then they could like ignore it basically. So I don't know what that means. Who is screaming here, man? Yeah, I'll probably stream for a while. Um, I, I think we're going to... Minecraft's probably going to be... Potastic said the update 4.30 p.m. her time, which is 7.30, so... At least one more hour of this, at least. Yeah, it's just <laughs> it's in my head. Yeah, I, I, I know it's... I think it's the guy that's up there, but I'm just... I don't know why he just randomly screams. So, wait, I saw him doing it earlier. Like, the guy behind this guy, I think. Or maybe it is him. I don't know. It was like a necklace you could wear. Increase your attack power. But, okay. So, but then how does it work, though, do you think? Like, does it just give you flat damage? Does it multiply your damage by something? That That's the real question is, is how does it even work? Interesting to think about, though. It, it, like I said, though, it does concern me a little bit, especially... I, I know they're obviously not thinking about someone like me who does challenge runs, who wants to do, like, level 1 plus 0 and, and all that. But it does concern me with that stuff, I think, a little bit. I charms with each boss. It, but then what, though? Like, how does it increase your damage? By, by what amount? Ow. I guess this weapon is pretty damn good, dude. Very solid bleed build up too, on it. Yeah, now, yeah, now it's gonna be level one plus zero, <laughs> plus zero. Yeah, probably. giving plus or five percent damage per stack well to be fair if it's only five percent then it depends how many there are but five percent is not a huge amount of damage i i i would i can't see really being that low it was kind of like talismans Um, in what way, though? Yeah, so if there were 10 and it was 5%, 50% more damage is a lot. <laughs> like, that's a shit ton of damage. It, it's, it's impossible to speculate about it because there's just, uh, like, we have no idea what it actually will be, so... I just, I just think it would be weird in a game that already has a way to increase your damage through upgrading something to have another upgrade on top of it. Like I just think, especially if it only applies to one area, it's kind of weird, I think. Let's go on stupor. I carried in my offhand because on the horse, I, I need to two-hander to get the requirements of it. But on horse, you can't two-hand your right-hand weapon. Like, you, you can, but you can't... Um, here, okay, here's here we go. Let me show you. So, right now, I'm two-handing now, right? So I can wield the weapon. I have this rank requirement. If I get on my horse, I can still wield it properly because the game still thinks I'm two-handing. But now if I swap to something else and then swap back to it, there's no way to two-hand my right weapon again. So now I just can't wield it. 
But if I put it in my left hand, you can two-hand your left weapon. So that's that's the main reason in this case. Something irrelevant to DLC gameplay? Yeah, it probably it easily could be, yeah. A fucking blaster, dude. In the form of great runes. Yeah, anything that anything that adds more variety is better, I think, basically. I guess maybe my my concern is that having an attack power upgrade like that kind of doesn't really add variety, right? It just It's not a choice you have to make, which is like the great runes are a choice, the talismans are a choice you have to make. It's like, okay, which one's the best one? Which one sets suits my build? But having just a straight attack power damage upgrade To your entire character, like to every weapon you use, every spell you use, it kind of, it's not a, I don't know. It just, it seems weird. So. But yeah, we'll see though. I want to get this Lily up here. Oh. Huh. I guess you can <laughs> stun, break the limb, and then just <laughs> stun again. Oh. Did I just cut off both of their limbs? What, what would my opinion be if it was a different type of damage or the amount of damage was based on the boss? It's a sleep boss that you can can either get a power from or get just a base attack power boost. I just I just don't think I like a base attack power boost. I think that's the problem. I just don't like that. Uh, I did help Bach. Although, I, I don't know where he is now. I'm not gonna lie. Not sure if he's still in that cave or not. I'm hoping all these quest lines were actually going to be able to progress without having to, I don't know, without having to look up too much stuff or have to rest a million times for things to happen. But that is kind of how they work, but. Turtleneck meat. Okay, so it says new on it. A splendid lengthy cut of turtleneck meat considered an especially nutritious ingredient 
in the south of the lands between. Why is that a capital I right there? In. Yeah, maybe maybe it's the the long awaited easy mode, dude. Maybe you're right. The long awaited easy mode DLC. If they were to ever add an easy mode, though, it shouldn't be. I like. I would actually prefer them add something that reduces the damage you take, than add more damage to your character. I, I would rather that, because then, like the the problem on a lot of bosses that people have when they're fighting them the first time isn't that they don't deal enough damage. It's that they just take a shit ton of damage and then they don't survive long enough to you know learn the moveset or whatever. And so, I don't know, man. <laughs> I, I don't know what's, what Miyazaki's talking about with that thing that he mentioned with the attack power boosts. We'll simply have to just wait and see. Only like four months away, so. Surely it won't be FromSoft's first L of some sort. <laughs> well, well, I guess... I don't know. There's other things that are not great about Souls games, but... Yeah, sure, surely we need more attack. We need more damage in <laughs> in this game. There's not enough buffs to stack our damage as high as possible. We simply need more damage. Bloodborne PS4 30 FPS and not an L. Well, not really though, right? I don't think they had much control over that. The only L's that FromSoft has taken is basically just relating to um like minor things in their game. Like a certain boss fight being bad or like the smithing stone upgrades being unbalanced with somber stone upgrades like those are things that don't really matter to most people uh i don't think i don't have the lantern yet do i i, I guess there's a few but not not recently Uh, Craig, how's it going, dude? What is the sprinting R2 on this thing? I guess that's what most of the sprinting R2s are in the game, sort of. At least with these curved weapons. Because the... Falchion one is basically the same, but just... Faster swing. Yeah, so I mean, I guess there are a few minor things that they've probably gotten wrong. 
That's pretty few and far between, I would say. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Probably there's not more blood stains around here. Am I? Oh my god, I'm not online, dude. Oh, how did that happen? It's because it's because when I quit out, dude, and I have the game disaster. Oh my god, what is happening? Oh, Steam maintenance, really? I just restarted the game for nothing. Online L. Uh, Tom Murphy, thanks for the brand new prime sub, dude. Are, are, uh, the servers are really down. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Gotta halt the playthrough. Oh, that's brutal. How long have they been down for, though? Or are you guys just simply lying? Okay, well, now it's fine. So. No, I think it was, it was when I quit out and I, I logged back in. Oh, we probably missed so much good stuff. So many good death signs and all that stuff, man. Shamshir. Uh, this cave is right here. High Road Cave. It is a it is a pretty cool cave. I like it. All right, the Shamshir. Curved sword with a thin blade of ample length. Um, light of weight despite its larger size. Its slicing attacks come in rapid succession. A devastatingly powerful weapon in the hands of a skilled swordsman. So now we can dual wield. And everybody knows paired curve swords are insanely good. Like they just have such a good move set. That's one thing about the daggers, the paired daggers, they they could be really good, but their move set is just not uh, Basically the the curve swords are a better version of daggers, I feel like. That's kind of how I see it. Daggers are still pretty good, but... This is just daggers if they had a better moveset. Oh. <laughs> Dude, that was a lot of damage. Let there be head. <laughs> or I'll rate it good. I always forget I can rate the messages, man. Uh, this is plus zero, but yeah, as, as everybody knows, Sacred Blade... Probably better than anything else you could get in Limgrave, basically, right? At least for early game. Better than the blood like what would you guys rather? Sacred Blade? If you're if you're doing like all the content, would you rather Sacred Blade? Well, maybe people would say Bloodhound Fang, but I would probably take Sacred Blade over Bloodhound Fang for early Limgrave, I think. Overall. Like you, you just simply get more damage out of Sacred Blade. Even though they're both very good. So you can't really go wrong with either, but. Yeah, I know, uh, yeah, Samshir does have. Wait. It has something. Maybe it doesn't. 
Oh, wait, wait, it's faster, I think, right? Or something? I don't know. Oh, yeah, there's some death signs back there, or blood stains. Can I make this? Oh, dude. That's kind of close, actually. Paired. The dual Uchi. Oh, just. Oh, you hate to see it, dude. I can't believe I wasn't online that whole time. Online has been one of the most fun things about this run so far. Okay, obviously on this guy, you gotta go with a poised weapon. Uh, I'll just use a club. The one-handed moveset? I think it is different, though. Like, not ever. was it different? I I, I kind of can't tell somehow. It is different, hundred uh, percent. Eating yogurt. Thanks for the seven month resub. Welcome back. Yeah, club is honestly probably just the easiest way to kill this guy. Golem has no chance. Bonk. Blue Dancer Charm. I saw some people talking about, uh, because there, there was a dancer in the DLC preview and people were like talking about the blue dancer charm in that dancer or something. Did I not sort these to a cloth doll depicting a dancer garbed in blue, an ancient heirloom of some sort. The dancer in blue represents a fairy who, in legend, bestowed a flowing sword upon a blind swordsman. Blade in hand, the swordsman sealed the way an ancient god, a god that was wrought itself. What the hell, dude? Dancer in blue represents a fairy. Flowing sword upon a blind swordsman. Yeah, trained millennia. It kind of sounds, yeah, sounds like something like that. The swordsman sealed away an ancient god. Who's, is that supposed to be millennia? And then the fairy is the one who... <laughs> seems kind of convoluted, dude. The fairy is the one who, who gave the blind swordsman a sword, and then... This blind swordsman taught millennia, I guess. Yeah, maybe M M millennia is not the rock god, though. Probably not. Rot itself. Okay. What Ash of War should I put on the Chams here? I, I would like to, e to use it.
Bloody Slash? Bloody Slash is kind of insanely good. Jesus, dude. No helmet drop. Oh, dear. You might... I... Terribly sorry. Uh, are you here as a customer? I suppose I will... Actually, I won't buy those. I'll buy this, though. Nomadic Warrior Cookbook 3. Wait, the same description as all the other ones? Short sword. A short, straight sword with a short blade. In addition to its reliable standard damage, this weapon also boasts powerful piercing attacks. Lightweight amongst straight swords, this weapon is easy to wield, requiring only humble attributes. And then we got the halberd. A long-handled polearm that combines the function of both axe and spear. Can be used to press a single enemy with continuous thrusting attacks or swept at groups. Taking advantage of its great reach and cleaving blade, a versatile weapon for any situation. Um, bandit mask. Mask of black cloth that covers the mouth. Favored by bandits and hiding their faces, it also provides some protection against poison. Oh, shit. Flame chariots. I guess those are the... The, like, explosion guys, right? The vehicle. What does it say? Beware the fire monk... The fire monks... Chariots bearing the faces of giants. A well-aimed blow to the chimney on top may prove effective, but opportunities for a plunging attack will be rare indeed. So it is those guys. Uh, Redditor sa says Millennia is a rot goddess whose fighting style is like a dance and her weapon art is called Waterfowl Dance. Well, yeah, I, I would definitely assume it's linked to Blue Dancer somehow. Why is there just a random campfire down there, I wonder? Random campfire with nothing around it except for turtle necks. Yeah, this moveset is just so insane, dude. Sun Realm Shield. Shield of Honor depicting a city crowned by the sun. The scene better days. Much like the wear upon the shield, the seat of the sun is long faded away. Is that Stormvale or... Kind of looks like it. I thought there were more guys here. Sun Bro Shield. 
It, it definitely, it looked a lot like Stormvale, but yeah, maybe it's not. I thought there were some, I, I don't know why, I thought there were way more guys here, dude. All right. There's no mistake, is the death has left its mark once again. Ah, a tarnished, are you? I'm known as D. I hunt down He's nuts. those who live in death and weed their death root. Heed my warning. Not doing a very good job. The village here has been touched by death. And worse yet, it is home to a mariner. If you value your life, then go no further. Pickle ahead, fry head. <laughs> the village here has been turned back. The village here has been touched by death. Turn back. I guess that's all he's got to say. Holding the head. That's a cool looking sword, dude. <laughs> yeah, he's scared of a mariner, dude. I guess, I mean... Realistically, that'd be kind of scary. A guy summoning skeletons and riding a boat on grass. We are almost 10 hours into this playthrough and we are still in them grave, dude. Simply destroyed. Yeah, we'll do we'll do uh we'll do his quest. Like I, I I would like to do every single quest I possibly can. I'm not sure if there's any that are like exclusive to each other, but or or you know, like one like mutually exclusive, but I will try to do every single one if I can. We've gone down to this graveyard, right? I think so. We haven't gone to the other one, though. Um, I'm not sure if I'll do it region locked or not. Like, I guess I, I probably will. I we'll, we'll see about that. I, I'm not sure, actually, because... No, I probably won't do region locked, but... The way I go through the game will kind of be similar to that. Oh, yeah, we're going to fight lay girls, dude. Legendary encounter. And yeah, not sure if there's much out here. You can do both Saluvis and Rani, just need an atonement. I, I don't know. I, I the only I, I'm not sure how far does Luvis quest actually go because I've only I've only gotten to the point where you get the scorpion charm. You're on NG plus three main main playthrough level two fifty. Uh, NG plus three two fifty like that's that doesn't sound like you'd be over level to be honest, but I, I have no idea.
That was not a lot of damage. Because my other sword just isn't even doing anything. The all hit run begins. All right, death root and skeletal militiaman ashes. Um, these are the spirits of militiamen who live in death and will continue to rise again until properly finished off. This is the grotesque fate of those who come into contact with death root. Okay then. Yeah, duping Sacred Blade would be cool. I don't think I have any lost Ash of Wars yet though. Mushroom? Oh boy. Okay, we're almost done with the main limb grave, I think. There's not really too much. I haven't gone down to this section yet. I haven't gone here or over here. And we haven't done Stormvale, but other than that, I think we've done everything basically. There's a little section I haven't gone to down here, and I haven't gone across the bridge. I believe the rest I've we've gone through. Uh, I don't think Bernal sells them. No, we, we can get some, but it'll just be a bit later. Yeah, some, some of the merchants sell it. Yeah, weeping is also Limgrave, yeah. Yeah, people predicted like 15 hours for uh, Limgrave to be done, which is, is actually sounding about right at this point. Huh? Why didn't he permanently die there? I just blast him with Sacred Blade, dude. No, not f f 1-5. 15 hours. No, you don't have to hit with weapon. I, you know what I actually think it was? I think it's that I swapped... I think it's that I swapped, like, immediately or something. I, I should try that again. That was... Might be like some bug. Nice of you to finally show up. Another fool who won't listen to reason, eh? But with a prowess for weed in death root. Hmm. How would you like to earn the strength of beasts? If you're inclined to haunt more of those who live in death and weed their death root, Dude, I've already gotten then I'll two. introduce you to Garank, the beast clergyman. I have a matter of my own to attend to, and the beast himself wishes for someone to take my place. What say you? Very well. Sure. Show me your map. I've marked the location for you of a hidden gateway. It will lead you to Garank, the beast clergyman. It's going, Doug. I have 
the matter of my... I spotted the mark of the centipede here in the village. An ill omen symbol that should not... Mark of the centipede? Someone or something threatens the sanctity of the Golden Order and must be eradicated. No idea what that is. What is it? The map indicates where the gate will lead you to Garang. What is it? The map indicates it will lead you... Uh, power... See power gamer stop. Thanks for the 100 bits, dude. Picked in Castle Saul. You think so? I guess I'll have to see when I get there because I do not remember it looking at all like this, but. Oh yeah, I guess that I guess that would make sense though. Yeah, that I guess yeah, maybe. Going full blown lore nerd at this point, dude. Green turtle talisman. Talisman in the shape of a green turtle. Turtles are known as a nutrition, nutritious ingredient, symbolic of inexhaustible power. However, those who hold turtles to be wise creatures consider the practice of eating their meat to be barbarous. <laughs> I guess so. Couldn't be me, dude. Yeah, I'm. I'm definitely not. A lore nerd, dude. At least not yet. Simply nothing. Except the golden rune. And a mosquito, of course. Which they call the dragonfly. Yeah, we'll see uh, when to go. We will see about that. Because if, if people haven't told me anything to this point, like most of what I've read means nothing. So, I don't know, man. We will see once we get to the end if it actually kind of makes sense. If, like, if any part of it makes sense. How's it going, Dusky? Uh, you do have to do part of the quest, uh, Haunter, yeah. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna go into Caleb yet, but... Matic Warrior Cookbook 14. It's pretty high. Where is that? Poison Pot, Roped Poison Pot, and Poison Bone Dart. Still the same description. Missionary Cookbook 3. Silver Pickled Foul Foot. make a save file that has everything? Well, not not really. I should have used Sacred Blade. NPCs have a hard time with Bloody Slash. Like, I, I don't even know. They kind of can't dodge it, it seems.
Oh, that's not good. Secret Scorpion Charm. Talisman carried by assassins who strike unseen. Patterned on a scorpion freshly shed of its exoskeleton, it claws seizing a heart with a blessed glow. Oh yeah, I guess it does. Hmm. Uh, Dranold, thanks for the 100 bits, dude. Ha uh, happy birthday, Gabe. Gabe, these nuts. <laughs> um, it sort of looks like a heart, I guess. I would, no, it, it kind of does. <laughs> yeah, I got him, dude. too easy, man. Oh god, rot dog. Huge mistake. I mean, giant lord? Um, for what? Uh, why not go into DLC with Beast Claw Great Hammer? I'm going to get it on this character, but there's no guarantee I use it. I I have we we were talking about that earlier Medi and how I don't really like how that sounds, but there's not enough information to actually say. Random giant or troll. Ow. Uh, Mikael, thanks for the 100 bits as well, dude. Four inches enough. Um, I, I prefer 12 on my my subs. Uh, you know. Like, not subscribers, but... Like a, like a sandwich. Usually I get the 12. Yeah, more of a 12-inch guy. There's been a there's been a lot of dumb and dumber references in the past like 2 days somehow. Kind of just randomly, dude. Yeah, horse combat. <laughs> That's excellent. Oh, yes. Please, more horse combat DLC. Please. Nothing more satisfying than Elden Ring horse combat. <laughs> yeah, get the get the talisman going, dude. 
Does anybody know the actual number increase or the percentage? What percentage increases that? Like, if it's not 50%, then that's a scam, dude. It should be 50% to actually be worth using, but it's probably like 15, realistically. But nobody knows because nobody's ever used it. Nobody's ever used it before. Yeah, if it was if it was like 50% or something then then it would actually be good and it would actually be cool because then it would open up fighting bosses on a horse more, I guess, right? Like if if there's a way to get 50% more damage on a boss, that'd be like that'd be pretty solid, so. Oh, that's a good question if it works on spells, dude. That's actually a really good question. Get on fire giant. But not really, though. You know, using horse on, on fire giant is good. But attacking on horse is not. It's more just like a positional thing. All right, where's this rune bear at? No, there's there's no boss in the game where fighting on horses is better. But if 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 it was 50% increase in damage though, then it could be more of a consideration to get a lot of damage. Let's see how the wolves do. If only the rune bearer did 21 damage to us and not 300 a hit. Oh, Torrin, get your huge head out of the way. I wonder if the wolves could actually win this somehow. Like chain stagger. Oh, here it is. Someone get the repost. Go for his neck. Huge one damage hit by the rune bear. God, this is painful. Gotta intervene. I wonder if I go get water if the fight would be done by, by, by the time I get back. I'm gonna go get some water, and I guess it's done. Oh, no, it's not done. There's one wolf. He'll surely win. Uh, one second.
So did I miss the huge wolf victory or what? Looks like the wolves won. They surely won. Yeah, I don't see Rune Bear. Oh. That would have been cool. But actually worked. Ow. Oh my god. I did not mean to jump there. I do wonder why the bears and, and, and the wolves are just like randomly fighting here. Surely territorial dispute. They're fighting over the smithing stone, maybe. Start playing live speed today. Combat feels awful. Every time you attack, the enemy it attacks. Um... I mean, that's kind of how Souls games work, too, kind of, right? Yeah, the wolves carried the, the fight, surely. Um, okay. I think we're nearly done the main part of Limgrave. That's <laughs> most definitely a skill issue. Maybe. There's no question, though. The combat in, in Lies of P is not as smooth as a Souls game. But, but that's, I mean, it's hard to match, like, literally the best and the original of, like, the, the whole thing the game is based on, basically. I would say they do a pretty damn good job, though. All right, this is the portal marked on the map. What are the things that I haven't done yet? Obviously, we haven't killed Margit. I'll probably do that after weeping, though. I feel like there's something that I, I needed to do that I didn't. Um, is there anything with Selen? I, I don't think so. Oh yeah, we haven't gone underground yet. Oh yeah, the large club, that's right. When we go to uh, Weeping. It is so tempting. Should we, should we fight this guy? What do you guys think? Plus zero weapons, no HP. It is tempting because I've just got a shit ton of runes, but I don't I don't want to be super over leveled though. You know what you can actually do? You, okay, here we go. I, uh, oh. Forgive me. Oh shit, dude! I forgot about this. I've been testing you to determine if the Elden Ring. I've been teasing you. Have you, if you had the metal to endure this long and arduous path. It seems my worries were unfounded. 
Torrent had your measure from the very start, whereas I merely pretended. There is but one other thing I can do to offer you guidance. I can take you to the Round Table Hole, gathering place of tarnished champions. Guided. Fairly tarnished champions like Gideon and fucking Rogier. No, these other losers. But okay. Very well. Let my hand rest upon you for but a moment. Yeah, dung eater. <laughs> yeah, true. Okay, round table hold. First visit. Do we... I guess we want to talk to everybody here, probably. So, turn the volume back up. Like, look at this loser. He can't even get a wheel off his neck. Oh, I see you've just arrived. Welcome to the round table hold. I'm Corin, a man of the cloth. I teach incantations, the strength granted us by the two fingers, and explore the secrets of the Golden Order, so that one day, if a tarnished of the Round Table Hold should become Elden Lord, mm. I might counsel them, ensuring order regains its proper form, writing rule over men. By the way, do you still see it? The guidance of grace. Yeah, I see it, I'm pretty sure. You do? Wonderful news. Most tarnished are blind to it these days. You are something of a rare breed. Well, what do you say? Care to learn an incantation of the two fingers? Wait, did he say earlier that he... S he saw something? I, I, I wasn't paying full attention. Okay, um... How many death roots do you need for Garong to attack you? Is it four? I think it's four, right? How many death roots are in Limgrave? Is it just two? Because I, I want to show you guys a strat on the Black Blade Kindred, but I don't really want to anger him. <laughs> so... Wait, there's... Oh, yeah, yeah, four. Okay. Um, anyways. I should probably buy these, but they're kind of expensive. Two Limgrave, two Liurnia. Well, what I could do is go into Liurnia and go get them. But I... I, I don't... I don't know if I want to do that. I do kind of want to kill the... I do kind of want to kill the Black Blade Kindred, though, but maybe we just simply learn and then win, dude. The order shine through you. It also, it also kind of fund us enough to buy all this stuff early. What do I do? I don't think I'll do it. I, I don't think I should fight that Black Blade Kindred yet. Probably. But it would be nice to get some extra runes, though. No, it's not mind-blowing. It's just, it's just funny. What do you want? Like, what I could do... So, it involves aggroing Garonk. Wait, what the hell? And so, I guess I could just... How did this person get up here? <laughs> if 
fly hacks, clearly. Oh. Simple. All right, I guess we'll go do it. And then I'll just cure Garonk. I, I hope it doesn't mess up anything. Okay, so... I guess I'll hand him over a death room. Nice beard. Tarnished. Bring more deaths. I shall grant thee eye and claw. Feed me more. Bestial Sling, Claw Mark Seal, and Beast Eye. Incantation taught by Garonk, the beast clergyman, swiftly flings a number of sharp rock shards. This incantation can be cast without delay after performing another action. It is said that in the time before the Ur-Tree, stones were the first weapons of the beast who gained, who had gained intelligence. Um, what else do we got? Seal? Sacred seal granted by Garonk, the beast clergyman. A rare trinket which allows incantations to be scaled with strength. The claw mark represents Garonk's wrath. Enhances bestial incantations learned from Garonk. And, and then we got an, the eye. Claw marked, claw marked stone eye received from Garonk. It is said to tremble when near death root, the murky violet iris writhes as if alive. I'm not sated, be me more death. Unfortunate. All right. Whoops. That's not good. <laughs> Mission failed. You shouldn't be aggroed as, like, wait. Oh, I guess it's perfectly fine if he gets aggroed. But what does he say? Oh. It's not even a problem, dude. I don't even need to, to do the thing. Should probably get these runes, though. Alright. So here's the strat. It is not a very good one, but it's pretty funny. <laughs> As you can see, he just took about a thousand damage, but it's only when he does that attack. That's the problem. But that's a hell of a lot more damage than I could do at this point. Uh, this could be the master run strat. It, it's certainly possible. 
Yeah, so it takes a while, but... I mean, if you don't want to actually have to fight the gargoyle... I don't really remember him backtracking into his thing like this, though. But yeah, it's not a very good cheese, though. I, I, as I said, it's just, it's just funny. Never claimed it was a good cheese. I do wonder if it'd be better to like sit right up here. Another huge hit. Yeah, this probably would have been slower than me just fighting him with plus zero, but... Only like eight more of those. It's kind of a shame that these rock attacks can't really hit him though. I should just fight him <laughs> straight up, dude. It'd be probably faster than this. Yeah, if only there's actually a way to force him to do the attack. Hmm. And I guess he really needs to be right up the, to the door when he does it. I didn't even realize. It'd be so close. Even that one didn't get him. The Deathbird resets. What Deathbird are you talking about? I think it needs to like hit him in the wing or something. There we go. <laughs> this is so slow, dude. It's actually slower than I remember it being. Well, anyways, I think um, I'll fight the Kindred, I guess.
Yeah, I'm not sure if this would be the master run strat for this guy. We've got him at about half. A little bit past half. Oh, wow, that was close. I think that's the... Did he do the close range, run, range one or was I just not paying attention? Yeah. I never said it was a good strat. I just said it was a strat. But it's kind of nice that he doesn't get mad at you, though, after you attack him. Okay, let's see if I can win this. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut Healing ever. will trigger the attack? Maybe, actually. Yeah, maybe you can do an input read somehow. All right, what is the weapon of choice? We certainly do not have such a great build for these guys. Bonk. Yeah, bonk's good. All right. Plus zero bonk. Do you have anything to take less damage? This guy deals holy, right? <laughs> look at that. Look at how much stats this gives me right now. Like just a sliver of HP. <laughs> nice fucking lock on, dude. Excellent start. I tried to lock on, get 180'd, and then I just get blasted. Okay, so that did not help. Um, I guess we go, like, Axe Talisman then. But maybe I can survive the pokes or something like that. I don't know where to fight this guy because of the atrocious terrain. This might take some time. I also don't think I can get hit. Should have gotten a large club. Not too bad the terrain isn't better where you fight this guy because I, I do like his moveset oh oh my god what a fucking insane hitbox we should go get the large club i feel like but it's kind of a shame the terrain's so bad because it's a fun fight but the terrain just totally ruins it okay let me quickly go get the large club Uh, Slimy, thanks for the brand new Prime sub, by the way, dude. It is too bad nothing I have would make me survive a hit.
All right, it seems like um, Post Hastic's uh, power is still off. So what we're going to do, I'm going to kill this guy. And then I'll probably end. A okay, large club time. We're going with the bigger bonk. All right, we're doing it. Bubble tier would be decent. Oh. Really? I need one, one more strength for it. It's actually so annoying. I, sh I do have enough, though, I think. Oh, yeah, I do have the strength tier as well. But th this fight's going to last definitely more than three minutes, so. Here we go. Take off that one. Okay, surely this time... This attack is brutal, too. It's not a good attack. Pretty sure the roll attack is quick enough here. Man. How can I... I think the first time I ever fought this guy, I was able to kill him by sitting up on the... Oh, boy. On the flat part. But it's kind of hard to actually do that. Please stop doing this attack. God, bro. Damage here actually really isn't that bad. It's more just that I can't get hit. What?
Oh my. Oh, you shit boss. Okay, that is not fast enough. Oh, bastard. <laughs> so it's not fast enough on this one. There we are. Use the foot? No, oh, dude, I didn't think about it. Okay, plus 90k. And a wasted foot. Gargoyle's Black Blade. Bronze greatsword wielded by Valiant Gargoyles mended with blackened corpse wax. Deals holy damage. Such is the mark of those who serve Malaketh, the Black Blade. And also got the halberd. Both of these are not great, I feel like, but. Bronze halberd wielded by Valley Gargoyles mended with. It's the exact same. <laughs> Scuffed Blasphemous Blade, yeah, basically. Okay. Well, down he goes. I remember, I remember practicing that fight. Um, with this, basically this exact setup before, actually, when I was routing level one plus zero, all bosses no hit. So, this is, this is a great weapon on him. Like, and, and the damage isn't even, like, it's not, I don't know. I guess it, it's not that bad. At least it doesn't feel that bad. Oh yeah, we haven't, yeah, we could read the club too. A thick, solid lump of wood. Wielding the striking weapon requires no skill. A simple primitive weapon that requires only brute strength to swing about. That sounds about right. Okay, well, I think uh, I think we're gonna end oh for today, my guys. God, dude, that's uh, AutoZone, so thanks for shit. gifting uh, two subs that again, is dude. So shit. Make sure you that thank AutoZone if you got a sub right garbage. there. Oh my god! What a wasted golden foot, dude. We have a decent amount of souls now, so we can go and buy up stuff. But I think, yeah, we'll, I think we'll end for today. Unfortunately, no Minecraft today, I guess, but... Um... We will play... I'm not sure when. Said maybe on Friday. So... Uh, but yeah, I'll be I'll be back on tomorrow, you guys. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Uh, there should be a video coming out on Thursday as well. The uh, the dagger only run, which was really fun. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if we'll continue this tomorrow or do master run, but I'll, I'll just decide. Uh, decide whatever. But you know, maybe we should have maybe we should do this run plus zero. What do you guys think about that? Just because it, it is more fun to actually fight the bosses with lower damage, especially how quickly some bosses die, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I'll think about it. Um, let me do this. I'm not sure what to do. Is it going, going with like upgraded weapons? You know, you, you can deal a lot of damage, but it's fun to deal a lot of damage sometimes. We'll see. I'll, I'll think about it. Also, Shorty, thanks for the brand new prime sub as well, dude. But yeah, I'll be back on tomorrow, you guys. Uh, so have a good night. And yeah, Minecraft will, I guess, be just at some point later this week, probably. So, 
Uh, so yeah, have a good one, you guys.